no coincidence that the Agile Combat Support Directorate is housed in a building that in 1940 was the first Army Air Corps Museum. In this historic building, thousands of propellers, altimeters, and artifacts were on display, showcasing what the men and women of the Army Air Corps had accomplished in the short time since the Wright brothers took flight in 1903. Today, the men and women of Agile Combat Support Directorate continue to make history, supporting the Air Force missions and warfighters around the world. Hello, I'm John Miller, the Program Executive Officer for Agile Combat Support. It's my job to ensure that more than 700 programs are precisely executed. Programs that impact every airman, every aircraft, every day. Simply stated, our mission is to deliver the finest weapon systems and weapon system support to our warfighters. The key to agile acquisitions is speed with discipline, and our intent is simple. Meeting user requirements through on-time, on-cost, technically successful programs. So let us show you how we impact every airman, every aircraft, every day. We are Agile Combat Support. Agile Combat Support's mission affects our airmen from the minute they arrive at basic training to assisting the search for our POWs and fallen comrades. The Human Systems Division addresses many aspects, from uniform requirements for the entire Air Force. It's pretty good knowing that we actually touch some airmen's lives every day with the, the clothing and equipment that we provide for them. To ballistic helmets for aircrew operating over the battlefield. The areas that a lot of the air crew are going into are hot zones, meaning that they face enemy fire. And so with rounds flying through the air, it is important to have a protection against that threat. Our Support Equipment and Vehicles Division provides an array of products for our expeditionary forces worldwide. From aircraft ground equipment, to fire trucks, to MRAPs, we make every Air Force mission possible. One of the security forces commanders come back and say, hey, I had 14 guys that were injured, but that's it. And that was because they were in these trucks. So what you guys do is very important. It really does help us and protect us to go outside the wire and actually accomplish our mission. Every airman. Every airman. Every airman. Many Agile Combat Support Divisions ensure we have the right hardware and avionics equipment to safely and effectively fly our aircraft. For example, the Metrology and Calibration Division, located near Columbus, Ohio, in partnership with commercial parties, sustains warfighters with precise and accurate measurement capabilities through world-class technology, engineering, and calibration services. Every piece of equipment, every system in the Air Force requires some type of measurement or diagnostic to be made to it. Say for instance, the uh, instrument landing system that a pilot uses to, to land his airplane on the runway. If it's not accurate and if it's not reliable, he could come in at a wrong angle and he could possibly crash. The Electronic Warfare and Avionics Division provides cradle-to-grave support of ground and airborne mission equipment that makes it possible for Air Force, Joint, and foreign partner aircraft successfully execute their mission. Our communication systems allow for you know, effective communications of information between the warfighters, but we also, on the precision attack side, locate, identify, and execute targets. Automatic test systems provide flight line, back shop, and depot level testing capabilities. These testing requirements are vital for every aircraft mission flown ranging from component level parts meeting required technical specifications to a final check of the B-2's armaments performing its nuclear mission. We don't buy aircraft or weapon systems to be static displays. We buy these things to execute the mission of the Air Force. And automatic test systems are very integral in being able to do that and maintain that mission on a daily basis. Every aircraft. Every aircraft. Every aircraft. In order to maintain the Air Force's war-winning posture every day, we must ensure proper training and preparation is consistently provided to our warfighters, without fail. Our simulators division ensures training across multiple weapon systems is applied effectively and safely. 
some of the things that our simulator provide for an air crew, such as emergency procedures. That's not something that they'll see um, in everyday flight, but it's something that if they came across, the type of training that they get in our simulators could save their lives. The Acquisition, Environmental, and Industrial Facilities Division is the Air Force's lead agent in ensuring all Air Force-owned industrial plants meet environmental regulations 100% of the time, all day, every day. If they're not complying with the environmental regulations for that particular state, they, in essence, can be closed down and that would have a negative effect on the weapon systems that they're producing at the plant, the weapon system parts that they're producing at the plant, and a negative effect on the Air Force in general. Every day. Every day. Every day. Although Agile Combat Support Directorate is located in a historic building at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, its divisions and supporting organizations are located across the United States. From coast to coast, the men and women of Agile Combat Support continue to make history, impacting current and future Air Force operations around the globe. The realities of the world have changed dramatically since the stand-up of the United States Air Force in 1947 and continue to change daily. Our adversaries will use any method and venue necessary to contest America. And it is in airmen's call to dominate air, space, and cyberspace. The men and women of Agile Combat Support recognize the needs of the modern warfighter and the importance of acquiring the finest, world-class products and services for the United States Air Force. Every airman, every aircraft, every day. We are Agile Combat Support.